Now we are going to go over resistor network analysis. You know that if you have two resistors in series, R1 and R2, then the equivalent resistance, R and Q, is just R1 plus R2. And if you have two resistors in parallel, R1 and R2, then the equivalent resistance over the equivalent resistance, they add inversely, is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So, if you are given a circuit, say, that looks like this, where I have a battery, and a bunch of resistors, I'm going to label those R1, R2, R3 and R4. And I ask you to do something like find the current through I2. You should be able to solve that. So I'm going to call my voltage over here Vs. And you can do this using Ohm's law and using the laws for how you combine resistors in series and parallel. So first thing you can do here is say I'm going to combine these two resistors and draw the equivalent circuit. And be very explicit here and kind of redraw it each time. Vs. Here's R1. Here's my new equivalent resistor. I'm going to call that R23. And I know that since I combined those resistors in parallel, that 1 over R23 is equal to 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And then I still have R4. So I can now go another step and say I'm just going to combine all three of those resistors in series. So combine all three of these and just write this as one circuit with one resistor. I have, I'll call that R1, 2, 3, 4, which is equal to R1 plus R2, 3 plus R4. And now I can easily solve for the current to that equivalent resistor, call that I, using Ohm's law, Vs equals I R1, 2, 3. Okay, I'm going to go to the next slide here. What I can now do, I'm sorry, that's a terribly drawn battery is back up and say, okay, I'm breaking that back out into my previous equivalent resistors where I have R1, R2, 3, and R4. I know they're all in series, so they all have that same current I. I can calculate using Ohm's law, the voltage drop across each one of them if I want to. So let's say I'm going to call the voltage here VA and the voltage here VB. And I know that I have Vs over here. I didn't draw ground, but as usual, I'm going to assume ground is the negative terminal of the battery. So I can use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage drop across this resistor and the voltage drop across this resistor. That will give me Va and Vb. I can then break this up even further, get back to my original circuit where I have R1, R2, R3 and R4, Here's Vs. So I have my current I that I calculated. That's still the same through R1 and R4, but I don't have I through R2 and R3 because they're in parallel and that current splits. But based on what I did in the last step, again, I, maybe I could have written this out, Va is going to equal Vs minus I R1, V2 
be B is going to equal zero. Just remember my ground voltage is zero volts plus I are four. So that's just Ohm's law and adding voltages in series. So going back here, now I know VA. I know the B. So now I can apply Ohm's law to each of the resistors R2 and R3 individually. So in this case for R2, I have VA minus VB equals I2 R2. And I can use that to solve for my desired current I2. So that was pretty straightforward, but a lot of work to combine all those resistors, calculate the current, and then kind of expand it all again until I could find the current through the resistor I originally wanted. What we're going to talk about in lecture is something called mesh analysis and node analysis that allow you to do this a little more systematically and come up with a system of equations that you can then solve all at once instead of kind of slogging through the whole circuit like this one resistor at a time.